All right, guys, let's get started. We're playing some Persona 4, of course, so. Ugh. It's freaking evening on the 15th. It says, it goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Ain't that the truth? I think it's actually evening time. It's raining tonight. The TV, something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Ain't gotta tell me twice. Let's check and see what's on this TV right about now. It says it's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV, I wonder? In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. Uh -huh. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Definitely. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Well, isn't that sweet of them? Ah, shit. Here we go. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seemed to be a woman and it looked... I mean, it looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touch the image on the midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? That is a weird thought, actually. The image disappeared. And you have a portal. You should speak to Yosuke, Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decided to go to bed for tonight. Igor and my darling Margaret. This is Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Yeah. I have summoned you within your dreams. Okay. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. Yes. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Okay. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. And then that's how we came here. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Yes, yes. Hold on to this. And that would be... Obtain the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. Yes, 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 yes. There is but one prize for this assistance. Oh? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. All right. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Uh-huh. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Right. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Basically, I'm supposed to draw out that potential and write upon that emptiness with my own soul. Empty. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. 
Yes, the heart definitely is strength and new bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Yes. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Okay. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? We will just have to see. Oh, whoops. Till we meet again. I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yo! Yosuke. You saw what was on last night, right? Yep. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's... Okay, why is that keep happening? Turns out someone was thrown in again. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. Somebody is definitely using that world as a weapon. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Right. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? <laughs> it has to be us. I want to keep my word to... Let's bring it into this. You do it. It has to be us. It only makes sense. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Obviously, it would work because you already went into the TV. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Mm-hmm. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Well, definitely something like that. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. So, we're gonna be friends. Well, let's do our best. Right. Nice working with you. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint staring of friendship between you and Yosuke. I am thou. Thou art I. That house required a new bond. It shall be the wings of freedom. No wait, it shall bring you closer to the truth. Thou shalt bless be blessed with creating personas of the magician's arcana. I forgot that that part didn't have any speaking roles in Persona 4. As you form a new bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. <sighs> The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician's Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down any ally. I mean, knock down. Wake up a knockdown ally during battle. <sighs> a cheer. Um, a 
about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Definitely. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? So she has a return. Oh, Yukiko-san? And uh, that's where the kimono no. girl came from. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man. What should I do? What should hey, you do? Is that stuff you were talking about for real? Yep. You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Definitely. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. It looked a lot like her, huh? That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Mm. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. But apparently she's not. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? Nah. -uh. No. <sighs> you summon up the you summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Most more than likely, yes. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Yeah, we should do that. Give her another call. Well, that confirms something. She, she's not answering. Are you serious? Yep. And is Yukiko-san inside that place? Could be. S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. An er, an errand, huh? One that lasted from late last night to this morning. Oh, or she On a school day. She wouldn't be able to answer herself if that's it. But she would have uh, she would have responded to your email last night. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Yukiko? Nope, this is Yukiko's mom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Okay. <sighs> she was over at the inn. But that still doesn't change the fact that she's on the Midnight Channel. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> you sound so relieved. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Yeah. You were worried before you even got here. She was totally fine. You were literally worried before we even got here. And you were all, is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? The fact that there was somebody on the TV. Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. Yeah, we thought that. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Definitely. She ain't trying to shit the blame over to him, though. That's some bull. You explain to Chie in details again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Okay, do it now. There's people too close. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? 
Oh, by talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Okay. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. <laughs> hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Yeah, so that the people on the other side can't see him. Obviously. You beckon... You try beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? It says, I'm fine. I'll be alright. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? I'm gonna punch you, Teddy, for biting me. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. He asked you, can you sense people this right now? Land feels so Stop. Go home. Nope. Sure? Yep. Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Definitely. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Good. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. Yeah, let's do that. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Huh. You're saying cell phone numbers with Yosuke. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Right. Was it really Yukio who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. We're going to find out. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Uh, we don't even know if this is a homicide. No, we do not. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Uh, I know. I mean, you're not wrong. Found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. <gasps> if this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. I, uh, uh, I'm not so sure about that one, Dojima. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? It could be way more than one person. You know, an accomplice. I mean, spun out of that love triangle. I know the truth, and so does everybody else. No, that singer Misuzu Hiragi has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas. Does she now? Prove it. And remember. The only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Because I guess she couldn't stop hiding it for long. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. I got murder on my mind. Murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Got a point there. Uh, I got murder on time, my mind. No matter how much we shake him AK down, AK-47, Mac-11, Glocks and nine. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. 
There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. Okay. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. I see. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. All because of an affair. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Definitely, because what the fuck? Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. Miss Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. I know, because all she did was find the corpse. We don't know if she found the culprit. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. Nope. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. Uh huh. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yes. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. You're not fooling anybody, Adachi. Adachi, Adachi. Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? No. Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. No. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. No. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Uh huh. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Uh, yeah. Oh, someone in Ibia. I'm someone in Inaba. Someone real close. Adachi was about to be punched in the face. Kind of wish that it happened. Welcome home. Well, now that sure was a journey. Searching all along 